In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about working with your audio in Adobe Captivate. Um, in the last five years or so I've been generally working for one client and uh, their desire is uh, a lot of text-to-speech. So you haven't really heard me talk a, a lot about recording narration or recording audio um, you know, using a microphone and, and following a script or anything like that because most of what I've done has simply been the text-to-speech technology which is great and for some clients and, and, and organizations that's a great choice because when it comes to uh, making changes to that recording you don't necessarily have to hire back the original voice talent every time you want to make a small change you just simply change the narration and uh, you know run the speech management tool to update that uh, located from the audio drop-down menu but if you want a more professional a more natural sounding uh, e-learning course I would recommend that you record narration um, your own narration and it's quite easy to do in Adobe Captivate you pick a slide that you're gonna work with in this case I'm gonna uh, just make something up here we're gonna just use our favorite poems and I'm gonna do a very short reading of the walrus and the carpenter and we'll just press record it'll give me the opportunity to use the slide audio window that pops up and uh, I'm just gonna press record I'll get a countdown and then I can start recording at that point uh, I'm gonna say no to this The sun was shining on the sea, shining with all its might. He did his very best to make the billows smooth and bright. And this was odd because it was the middle of the night. The moon was shining sulkily because she thought the sun had got no business to be there after the day was done. It's very rude of him, she said, to come and spoil the fun. So I'll just press stop at that point. So now I have my audio recording here. And, you know, the, the headset that I'm using is, you know, about a $20 headset with its microphone built in. It's not the best quality uh, recording that's available. So there are some things that you can do to try and clean it up a bit. The other issue, too, of course, because the microphone is reasonably sensitive in this headset, it may be picking up the sound of my laptop fan. It may be picking up the sound of the ceiling fan of the, uh, that's in the room that I am. I happen to be sitting in a room that has a window open, and perhaps there's some cars driving by, things like that. So let's just uh, save this to the slide. Um, now, if your audio records longer than the current slide length, it's going to prompt you to extend the display time to 23.4 seconds in this case to match the new audio. Uh, just keep in mind that this could affect certain objects that are appearing and disappearing on your screen, so you may have to adjust those. But I'll click yes, and it will uh, stretch out that slide. I'm just going to close this window now. So let's just play that back and see how that sounds. The sun was shining on the sea, shining with all its might. He did his very best to make the billows smooth and bright. And this was odd because it was the middle of the night. The moon was shining sulkily. Okay, so I think you get the idea there. Uh, the audio, of course, uh, and you may not be able to hear this through YouTube or through larger speakers, but because I'm listening to it on a set of headphones, I'm very aware that there's some background noise there. So I'm going to find this in the library. And there it is recording to here. I'm going to double click on this to bring up the audio properties window and you can do certain things so I can edit this at this point which brings up an edit audio window uh, there's certain things that you can do from within the edit audio window so for example I have this space at the beginning of the recording uh, it looks like it's about one second long and during that time you can hear this So two things I'm hearing. I'm hearing a background hiss, and I'm hearing my first breath, you know, just before I start to speak. So what you can do, and I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit here, you can actually insert some silence for this period of time, uh, which 
it's just a matter of clicking a button. So now what happens is it should go immediately into my narration without any sound beforehand. The sun was shining, so that's much better. It's a little long. Generally, I don't like to have audio take a full second before you start to hear it. So one of the other things you can do, this is about one second. So I am going to cut this back to about, let's just say, half a second. So I'm going to cut this out here. Actually, delete is what you want to do. And that's going to tighten it up. So it's going to make it a little bit tighter. So this is a great way you can kind of clean up your audio. You could cut out little pops and hisses and things like that. Another tool that may be available to you if you have the software installed is Adobe Audition. It does come with the e-learning suite. Uh, so it may be installed if you install the Adobe Captivate from the e-learning suite. Uh, when you click on this, sometimes it doesn't always launch. It says, could not locate supported version of Adobe Audition. I'm not sure why that happens. I've, I've reported this bug to, uh, to Adobe, but I in fact actually do have Adobe Audition, uh, so that shouldn't be a problem normally. Let me just resize this here. So alternatively, what you can do from here is that you can return back to the, um, the library and I'm going to right click on this recording and export that to a location somewhere on my hard drive. In this case, I think I'll put it on my desktop and I'll save it there. And once I've made that save, I can then switch to Adobe Audition and actually load that file. So let's just open. And again, I saved it to my desktop, so it should be easy to find there. Click open. So there's the recording. Let me just enlarge this. Um, so again, I can go back into these these areas. Like for example, uh, if I zoom into this a little bit, and I'm just holding down my control key and using my mouse wheel, and of course I can select anywhere on the timeline that I wish. So again, during those first few moments, probably zoomed in too much here. Let's go back a bit. So if I select this here, now of course this is the original recording. Again, you can hear that that noise. And you can the sun was shining and you can also hear my first breath. So a couple things I can do. I can of course select some of this blank space here and I can use some of the built-in effects that, that are built into Adobe Audition. So if I go into effects and I go into noise reduction, and I find the noise reduction process is the easiest way to do this, and uh, simply capture a noise print from this blank area here where you can, again, still hear that background noise. So it's going to isolate what my room sounds like, basically. And now, of course, I'm going to select the entire recording by clicking on the timeline and pressing Control A. Uh, alternatively, you could just do it from here and then select all would be another option. But now I'm going to apply this um, noise reduction effect to the whole recording. And what should happen is it should greatly reduce that background noise. This display here is, I guess the best way to think of it is almost like a 3D representation of sound, whereas this waveform up here is very much a two-dimensional representation of sound. And you can clearly hear, see, actually not here, but see where I'm speaking. You can also see in this 3D representation of sound, you can isolate actual items from other noises. And this is useful if there's, for example, a little pop or a click. You could isolate those sounds and actually cut them out of the recording. Let's see if I can find an example of that. So right here, there seems to be something right there. Let's just see if we can play that. If we can hear it, it might be too small to hear. And this was odd because... Let's try that again. And this was odd because it was... I don't think I can quite hear that. Let's see if I can find another example. So this might be a good spot. Let's just take a look here. 
So there's something there. I can't quite hear it. Can't quite make it out. I don't know if it's the moon. There's something in the background there. So what I could do, even though I've applied the noise reduction, I can actually just select this like you would select part of a picture in Photoshop and press delete and get rid of that noise but keep some of the other background noise so it doesn't sound too obvious you know and you can go through your entire recording looking for those little pops and hisses that might exist here's something here so let's just maybe highlight this a little bit here and we'll yeah definitely something there I think that could be my ceiling fan but uh, again, without cutting out any of the regular stuff, I could just select some of that from the image there. And of course now, if I was to play this again, uh, we should hear a very different situation. Uh, there's something still there. It's, it's reduced, obviously. Um, but let's see if I can get rid of more of that. I mean, there's a there's a point where, you know, how far do you want to go? And I guess that's the question that comes to mind is that, you know, you could spend, let me just highlight a larger area here, you could spend hours trying to fix a 30 second recording and I'm not sure if that's worthwhile. But you could do some of these little fixes without having to re-record your narration, just fix a few things up. Let's hear what this sounds like. It it, it, it. Okay, let's just play it normally without the repeat. It's done. It's very rude of him, she said, to cut. So that sounds really clean. I can now, of course, save this recording. We can hit save and then close uh, audition because I don't need that anymore. And double click on the recording in the library and we can import that new version of the recording. So I'm just going to go to my desktop, saved right over the old version and you'll probably notice it update here. So a little bit looks like it compressed it a little bit, got rid of a lot of background sound. So now I should have a much better recording than what I started with. Let's just give that a listen. The sun was shining on the sea, shining with all its might. He did his very best to make the billows smooth and bright. And this was odd because it was the middle of the night. The moon was shining sulkily because she thought, so again, I think you get the idea there. Uh, it, it may be difficult to hear. I'm not going to do noise reduction on this because, of course, that's going to affect the recording within the recording, if you know what I mean. Um, but it should give you an idea of what, what the tools that are available are capable of. And it's really great to have Audition as uh, part of the e-learning suite, and uh, I think it's part of Creative Cloud as well. But if you do happen to have this software, uh, it's a great tool for fixing up your narration. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up.